On April 9, 2017, the Fairfield Historical Society held its annual membership meeting at the Christ Central Community Center next to the museum. Members came from all over the county to catch up with one another, install new board members, and attend a presentation by Christopher Judge of USC Lancaster's Native American Studies Center. Professor Judge has previously visited the museum to evaluate a large earthenware cooking pot dated from 1300 A.D. to 1400 A.D. The pot was found in Fairfield County in the 1940s and is now on exhibit in the museum's collection. My name is Chris Judge. I'm the director of the Native American Studies Center at the University of South Carolina at Lancaster. Today I'm giving a lecture called Mounds, Mortars, and Mysteries about uh, late prehistoric archaeology in the Watery Valley. Uh, specifically, I'm interested in sites that are now under Lake Watery or near Lake Watery that were mapped in the early 19th century by Dr. William Blanding, a physician in Camden. And what I'm trying to do is to figure out where those sites are, figure out if anybody locally has information about them, and uh, try to build a database for that late prehistoric period. Understanding these sites is important to understanding where early Spanish explorers were, uh, and where the uh, early English uh, uh, trading posts were in the Watery Valley. Um, I'm excited today to try to tie my research into uh, what I call the Singleton Creek Pot, uh, a large uh, earthenware vessel that was discovered in the 1940s uh, on Singleton Creek, which is now in the Fairfield County Museum. And uh, I'm excited because that's the kind of uh, signature uh, piece of artifacts that we would find from uh, what we call the Mississippian period when the mounds were built uh, now under the lake. The Native American Studies Center has a website. If you go to the University of South Carolina Lancaster uh, homepage, uh, click on Native American Studies, uh, you can find out more about uh, what we're doing over there and uh, the exhibits that we currently have. After the presentation by Professor Judge, the Society installed two new board members, Michelle Taylor and Jonathan Johnson. The Society also presented two 2017 William Banks Patrick Awards for Historic Preservation. One went to Mayor Charlene Herring of Ridgeway on behalf of the community's successful campaign to save the Ridgeway Water Tower known as the Tin Man. And the other went to Larry and Ann Klein, who recently purchased the Winsboro Blue Granite Tudor Revival Cottage at 211 North Congress Street and have sensitively restored it and added a wing onto the north side. The 2017 Distinguished Volunteer Award went to Pam and Donnie Laird for their many valuable services. After the meeting adjourned, everyone retired to the museum for refreshments, conversation, and a chance to view the prehistoric pot exhibit. And now, here are a few messages from Museum Director Pelham Lyle. I'm Pelham Lyles, and this is the Fairfield County Museum, we've just had our membership meeting and we were delighted to have Chris Judge here as our speaker. Chris was uh, one of our experts in helping us with identifying a large artifact that we have in the, in the uh, collection that we're featuring today. We hope more people will come to the museum. Uh, we're open Mondays through Fridays, regular work hours. Uh, we usually close at lunch, so if you need to call ahead or just give us a few minutes, we'll get here. We have a membership uh, with the Fairfield County Historical Society. Um, if you will come by, I will give you a form. Uh, we would love to have uh, more members. We have about 200 people in membership now, and we rely on volunteer work. If you're interested in museum work, this is your chance to get on board in ways that you couldn't do in a big city with a larger museum. Um, in, uh, in, in August, we have some events that will be set up around the total eclipse that's going to happen on August the 21st. Uh, we have visiting folks from uh, colleges who were present their colleges were present in 1900 when the total eclipse came through here and was set up as a major observational area for the science. Um, in November, we have a wonderful uh, new exhibit that we're working on 
featuring World War I exhibits. We have uh, a new donation of a collection. We have several authors who will come and sign their books. Um, that will be on November the 11th, which is on a Saturday. We'd like to remind you that the museum now has a new email address. It's fairfieldmus at fairfield.sc.gov. Thanks for watching.